What is up, everybody? This is Tyler Slipping to watch here list of dang news. And uh, you know the saying, what goes around comes around? Well, right here, I've got my old school laptop. This was stolen from me. But that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is this thing had some parts in it that I could greatly use. And that's what this video is going to be about. The main thing I wanted in this laptop, and I'm never going to use this thing again because it, it's good, but it, it's pretty crappy. And probably what I'm going to do with this laptop is I'm going to use it as a beater laptop or something. I might give it to my grandma, something around those lines. But this is what I wanted out of it. You may not be able to see it, but this is a Kingston 120GB SSD Now 300. It is not a very large capacity drive, but it is indeed a very fast drive that I'm willing to make a video of. The reason why I'm making a video about this drive is because this is my main laptop right here, my main school laptop. This is my and Lenovo ThinkPad T430. Tank of a laptop, completely built from the ground up. Look how cheap this thing is. Look. See how it's like waving? This is one hell of a cheap laptop. This is very cheap. The ThinkPad, even while it's opened, it can barely bend that. It's a very robust laptop made out of carbon fiber, ABS, plastic, and steel. Very, very built. Very tough laptop. Very, very strong. What a beast. So I figured if this laptop's going to be used for school, I got around fine with a 300 gigabyte uh, drive that came with it. And I figured, you know what, it's not bad, but I figured I want to do something different. Right here, I've got a 128 gigabyte SSD. Even though it's much smaller than the original hard drive, what I would be able to do is um, I could buy a hard drive caddy and throw the 300 gig drive in this machine into the optical drive bay. I figured this would be a good idea on a couple occasions because it would allow me to store my stuff in Premiere Pro as well as in Pinnacle Studio from when I'm doing stuff at school in the video AV class, I can go ahead and store it onto that drive as this is going to be filled up pretty hard. There's not really going to be any room left in this, on this SSD, but I'm going to use have two partitions on here, one for the good old-fashioned Ubuntu and one, of course, for Windows 7. Now, I'm going to be throwing Ubuntu 16 on this machine. I've heard a lot of bad things about Ubuntu 16, but that's going to be a different video, as this video is just going to be talking about the overall speed that you can expect out of an SSD, and what exactly you can receive out of an SSD compared to a hard drive. So let's get on it, shall we? This is the Dell Dimension 3000. We're gonna fly. data doing a clone from the original hard drive into this. Now, this drive uh, is currently filled up. I've got a lot of crap on here I need to get rid of. The drive's got 60 gigabytes used. That's actually good because um, I was thinking about dedicating maybe 80 gigabytes towards this and I do maybe 40 towards Ubuntu because I don't use Ubuntu that much. The only thing I use Ubuntu for is mainly programming and a little bit of uh, Linux tasks and uh, Unix tasks that Windows can't simply do. I'm going to try to like free up the system of stuff here and we're going to try to see how much we could really minimize out of this because right now there's quite a bit of stuff in this system that could be deleted. And let's see how much we freed up. We freed up a lot. We just freed up about, we have 48. 0.2 gigabytes free right now. That means we freed up a lot of space on this system. Which means, um, if we could figure out a way to clone the partitions correctly, I'm not sure if it would work because the current partition on this system is, I believe, I believe it's a 200 gigabyte partition. So, we'd kind of be on edge here because we might not have enough entire space to clone to this thing. But we'll have to see how it turns out. Worst comes to worst, I'll do a clean install, but I don't want to do that because there's so much drivers on here that the system does not have. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. I just don't want to go through that. It'd be a pain. So we're going to try cloning, and I'll go ahead and make a separate video about that. So that'll totally be a different video. But in this case, we'll just see the overall performance out of this. So yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so in order to do this, we need to take both drives out of the system. So I'm going to go ahead and safely power down this system here. Go ahead and do that. 
shut down. And we need to get the hard drive out of this system. Now the hard drive is located, I believe, on this side where the USB ports are. How it comes out is a little different from our most laptop stands. Uh, Lenovo really thought it uh, differently when they designed that, but I'm hoping that this SSD would give me quite a bit of performance boost here. And plus it would be totally solid state, which means the system we could get banged around as much as it wants, and it probably wouldn't get a scratch on it. And you, you know what I mean, not a scratch, but it probably wouldn't even get any sort of damage done to it. So, i got to go ahead and take the hard drive out of here. I get some sort of a tool to unscrew that, and I'll be back. All right, here we go. Here's the hard drive. It's a, as you can tell, it's a Vance format hatchy drive. I'm going to take the side thingies off here so we don't have to worry about those. And it's a 300 gigabyte drive, nothing very fancy. It's a six gigabits a second, which is, uh, I wouldn't say it's that fast, but it's definitely fast. Um, it's an advanced format drive too, which might make it a little bit difficult. And there's where the hard drive goes in. They really thought it differently when they put these uh, systems together. So we're gonna go ahead and see exactly if we, how much performance we can get a difference out of these. So I'll be back. Okay guys, I went ahead and I cloned the OS on here to this. Like I said, there's the Kingston SSD now, and here's the original hard drive. So we're gonna throw the original hard drive in and we're gonna see what we get out of read and write. We're gonna put the SSD in and we're gonna see it out of read and write. Okay, I couldn't display the graphs due to a little bit of issues I was having, but I will tell you the overall read and write speeds. On the second hard, on the first, on the actual, on the hard drive itself, I got a total read of 500 megabytes and a total write of 450 megabytes. I'm rounding, by the way, so don't take me by anything special here. Um, as for the SSD, I got a total read of 100 and or 1.2 gigabytes, which is good, and a write of one gigabyte. Uh, there was a little option I had to set off, and there's this Kingston on their drives. They have a little protection system. If your device loses power instantly, the drive is protected from corruption. I disabled that feature, and I got the speeds that I'm showing you. It was a pretty damn good speed, so I'm very proud of it. So, yeah. Okay, we're all loaded up here, and I'm definitely first to say that this definitely... Oh, let me turn my backlight on. This definitely improved the overall performance, that's for sure. This improved the performance so freaking much. Like, as an example, let me load up Premiere here. Watch this. Oops. Done. We loaded up Premiere and we're already done. Look how quick that was. Definitely a huge improvement in performance. So, yeah. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you watching this video. If you have a comment, go ahead and leave one. But thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.